Air Power's enduring contest Gripen E versus F-16 Block 70. Modern air forces are in a constant quest for superior fighter jets. The skies remain a critical domain and nations need aircraft that can truly dominate. Technological advancement is driving this relentless pursuit as new threats emerge and existing platforms must adapt or be replaced. Here we have two formidable contenders vying for attention. Sweden's Saab Gripen E is one of them. It represents a fresh, intelligent design built for the network-centric age, emphasizing efficiency and advanced electronics. Its rival is a legendary American fighter, the Lockheed Martin F-16 Block 70. The showdown begins now. The challengers emerge. Sweden's smart fighter and America's upgraded legend. The Saab Gripen E hails from Sweden and is a true multi-role fighter aircraft, designed to excel in various combat scenarios. Saab designed it to meet diverse operational needs with a key focus on adaptability and network-centric warfare capability. This makes it a formidable opponent in modern aerial combat. The Gripen E is meant to be a smart, agile platform capable of operating from dispersed or steer airbases. Its versatility is one of its greatest strengths. The Gripen E or Gripen NG represents a significant leap building upon earlier Gripen A, B and C, D versions. It incorporates advanced technologies and improved performance metrics. The E model features a more powerful engine, carries more internal fuel for extended range and boasts more weapon stations. These enhancements make it a more capable and flexible fighter. The Lockheed Martin F-16. Fighting Falcon has a rich history, first flying in the 1970s. It quickly became a cornerstone of many air forces around the world. Originally a lightweight day fighter, its agility was revolutionary for its time. The F-16 set new standards for maneuverability and performance. The F-16 Block 70-72, also known as the Viper, is its latest iteration. It brings the iconic fighter into the modern era with cutting-edge upgrades. Key improvements include a new AESA radar, an advanced mission computer and modernized cockpit systems. These upgrades ensure the F-16 remains a potent force in contemporary air combat. Digital dominance inside the cockpits and avionics bays. Advanced avionics are the heart of modern fighters. They provide pilots with critical information, allowing for battlefield dominance. Pilots must process data rapidly and make quick, informed decisions. The interface between pilot and machine is crucial, with sensor fusion being a key aspect. The Gripen E features a highly advanced avionics suite with a notably modern architecture. It boasts a wide area display, a large touchscreen providing a panoramic view of the tactical situation. Its distributed system architecture is designed for resilience with powerful data links ensuring constant connectivity. The F-16 Block 70 also receives major avionics upgrades. A new high-resolution center pedestal display is central, enhancing situational awareness considerably. The F-16's digital backbone has been thoroughly modernized for this new era. Both approaches yield highly capable platforms. Seeing is believing AESA radar technology face-off. Radar is paramount in aerial combat, serving as the eyes and ears of modern fighter jets. The ability to see an enemy first is vital, often translating to the first shot and potentially the first kill. This early detection can make all the difference in a dogfight. Active electronically scanned array radars are the current standard, offering significant advantages over older mechanically scanned radars. These include faster target acquisition and better reliability. The Saab Gripen E is equipped with the Raven ES-05 ESA radar, developed by Leonardo, a leader in radar technology. It features a unique swashplate design, allowing for a wider field of regard. This design enhances the radar's ability to track targets at extreme angles. The Raven East 05 can track multiple targets simultaneously and possesses electronic warfare capabilities including jamming and passive detection modes. This makes it a versatile tool in modern combat. The F-16 Block 70 features the Northrop Grumman AN-APG-83 SABR, which stands for Scalable Agile Beam Radar. This radar is a significant upgrade for the F-16 platform. The APG-83 offers extended detection ranges, improved tracking accuracy and is more reliable than older radar systems. It ensures that pilots have the best possible situational awareness. 
Both the Raven ES-05 and APG-83 are cutting-edge AS systems representing the pinnacle of radar technology in modern aerial warfare. Section 5. Performance in the skies, speed, agility and operational reach. Key performance metrics define a fighter's capabilities. Maximum speed matters for interception. Service ceiling determines operational altitude. Thrust to weight ratio influences acceleration and climb rate. Maneuverability, including turn rates and G-limits, is vital in dogfights. Range and combat radius dictate how far a jet can fight. The Gripen E is powered by a single General Electric F 414G engine. This engine provides significant thrust. The Gripen E is capable of limited supercruise. It is known for its agility and nimble handling. A key design feature is its Steol capability. It can operate from short, dispersed runways. The F-16 Block 70 is typically powered by a General Electric F-110 engine. The F-16 has always been renowned for its exceptional agility. Section 6 Delivering the Sting Weaponry, Payloads and Mission Versatility A modern fighter must carry a versatile weapons load. It needs to excel in both air-to-air -air combat and must also effectively engage ground targets. The ability to switch between roles is crucial. The Gripen E features 10 external hardpoints, allowing it to carry a substantial payload. It can employ a wide range of modern weapons. For air-to-air -air missions, it uses missiles like Meteor, Iris-T, Amram and Sidewinder. For air-to-ground, it deploys precision-guided bombs and missiles. An internal Mauser BK-27 cannon provides close-range firepower. The F-16 Block 70 benefits from the F-16's long service history. It has numerous hardpoints for weapons and pods and is compatible with a vast arsenal of US and NATO weaponry. Both aircraft are true multi-role platforms. Section 7, the Electronic Gauntlet, surviving in modern contested airspace. Electronic warfare, or EW, is increasingly critical. Modern battlefields are saturated with threats. Surviving in contested airspace requires sophisticated EW suites. These systems detect, identify and counter enemy radars and missiles. The Gripen E is widely praised for its advanced EW capabilities. Its EW suite is considered one of its strongest attributes. It is highly integrated into the aircraft's design and was conceived for operations in dense electronic threat environments. The system includes sophisticated internal jammers and advanced radar warning receivers, or RWR. The F-16 Block 70 also features significantly upgraded EW systems. Depending on customer requirements, it can be equipped with advanced suites like the AN LQ-254 V-1 Viper Shield. Both aircraft aim for high survivability through advanced EW. Section 8 the bottom line acquisition, operations, and sustaining air power. Cost is a major factor for any air force. Acquisition cost is the initial price of the aircraft. Operational costs, or cost per flight hour, are equally important. These ongoing expenses can be substantial over an aircraft's lifespan. The Gripen E is often marketed as a cost-effective solution. Its acquisition cost is generally competitive. Saab emphasizes its lower operational costs. The aircraft is engineered for ease of maintenance, requiring a small ground crew and achieving rapid turnaround times between missions. The F-16 Block 70's acquisition cost for new build aircraft is considerable. Its cost per flight hour is a known quantity from decades of F-16 operations. A major advantage for the F-16 is its massive global logistics chain. Section 9, Final Verdict, which jet rules the skies in this modern duel. The Saab Gripen E showcases numerous strengths, making it a formidable contender in modern aerial combat. Its advanced avionics architecture is a standout feature, providing pilots with unparalleled situational awareness and control. The highly sophisticated and integrated electronic warfare suite is another critical advantage, enhancing its survivability in hostile environments. Lower operational costs and ease of maintenance are significant advantages, ensuring that the Gripen E remains cost-effective over its life cycle. It is designed for network-centric operations and high adaptability, making it a versatile asset for any air force. The Gripen E is a smart, modern fighter for discerning air forces, combining cutting-edge technology with operational efficiency. 
The Lockheed Martin F-16 Block 70 also boasts compelling attributes, making it a worthy rival in this modern duel. Its combat-proven design inspires confidence, having demonstrated its capabilities in numerous conflicts around the world. The powerful ANAPG 83 AES radar provides excellent situational awareness, giving pilots a significant tactical edge. It offers compatibility with a vast array of weaponry, allowing for flexible mission profiles and enhanced lethality. Its robust flight performance remains impressive, showcasing agility and speed that few can match. A strong global support network ensures long-term viability, making it a reliable choice for many nations. The F-16 is a legend, continually updated to meet the evolving demands of modern warfare. Both the Gripen E and F-16 Block 70 are highly capable 4.5 generation fighters, each with its own unique strengths. The choice between them reflects differing priorities and operational philosophies, ultimately depending on the specific needs and strategies of the Air Force in question.